Around 40% of the world's population use the internet today, and many of us can't imagine our lives without smartphones, computers, and Wi-Fi. But almost two-thirds of people on our planet, 90% of them in developing countries, still work, study, and communicate without access to the web. Industrial Revolutions logs on to find out who's leading the race to get the rest of the world online. Launched by Facebook last year, Internet.org is an alliance of tech companies aiming to make the Internet available and affordable to all. 90% of the people in the world already live in areas that are covered with wireless signal. So our approach is partnering with the existing industry. We can improve the business models that will enable getting those people online much faster. It's a task that's bigger than what one company can achieve on its own. So we're defining and we're planning and we're launching projects with partners. Facebook says the main barrier is not the price of a smartphone, but the high cost of buying a data plan. Data when Sunit Singh Thule believes the answer is to get devices into the hands of people. We're making the UV Slate devices affordable for the forgotten billion people in India by focusing on what we refer to as the technology of the good enough. Would the experience of the original iPad be good enough for the average person? Initially developed for India's government, DataWind's cheapest tablet costs around $40 and has the potential to revolutionize education in the developing world. Internet access is possible through Wi-Fi or traditional mobile networks by inserting a SIM card. The intent is to bring computing internet access at a level uh, that even somebody earning $200 a month can afford. Our business model focuses on recurring revenue streams more so than the hardware and because we make our own screens that allows for a lower cost product. A study by Deloitte has found that access to the internet could lift 160 million people out of extreme poverty and create more than 140 million new jobs. So whether the internet is brought to them by microwave transmitters, satellites, solar-powered drones or balloons, let's hope that global connectivity isn't too far away. There's no reason to believe that the next Facebook wouldn't be born out of a village in Myanmar or a town in Ghana.